Mastering Salesforce Profiles and Permission Sets, the present and the future. Welcome to another session. In this one, we're diving into security and we're talking about profiles and permission sets. Profiles used to be the primary construct for setting up user capabilities, both in authentication and in capabilities inside of Salesforce. However, it became unwieldy and in the early days of Salesforce, we saw a lot of profile proliferation, multiple variances of profiles being created depending on all the unique specific circumstances required. Then Salesforce came out with permission sets. Permission sets allow us to group sets of capabilities into a permission set, and we can add those to specific users supplementing the profiles. Well, where, where things are going now is Salesforce is gonna be migrating some of those key capabilities off of the profiles and only on the permission sets. So the profiles will be the primary functionality for first level entry access for the users and some key defaults, while permission sets will become the primary repository for capabilities. Let's dive in and take a look. In this diagram, I'm showing the primary entry access coming in through browsers or client server applications to either um, web servers, the site server or through the APIs is gonna be coming in and, and we've talked about in a previous video using app manager, connected app, login flows. And then we have the sites and the digital experiences. So there is a profile which is designated one per user. So a user has one profile and they can have multiple permission sets or permission set groups. Now the key element to entry is that identification that one profile for the person, which means it can resolve specific details uh, about the session, about authentication. Now, the reason permission sets are here at this entry level access and authentication authorization is you can now grant connected app access at the permission set level. So it can be granted using these incremental permission sets or permission set groups but the primary interface for entry is driven by the profile. Now, as we go inside a Salesforce, and instead of getting access to the overall building, getting in or not in the door, now we're talking about more granular capabilities once I'm authenticated. And this is where we, I think of it as doing controlling access to different offices, um, for different floors on a building or different offices. And in this case, those things are apps, tabs, objects, fields, reports, page layouts. And so you're gonna be building these with app managers and the tabs and the lightning app builder and the report types. But the way you're gonna designate them to specific users is at this point, many capabilities are, st the, the capabilities are still at the profile level and but also mirrored on the permission sets, which is their ultimate goal, to migrate these capabilities to the permission set level. And so we're gonna be taking a look at the profiles and the permission sets, where they are now, what they can do, and we're gonna talk about where they're going. So here I am in a Salesforce org, and I'm looking at a profile, and a key element is this profile is pegged to a user license. That means that this profile can only be functional if that user or assigned to that user if that user has a specific user license, Salesforce or other particular licenses. Now, let's we're gonna take a quick um, tour. We have page layouts. These are the, we'll call it the, the previous mechanism for assigning the UI screens. And you can, um, have particular layouts. And then when you go to an object that has record types, we can actually create a matrix where you can have uh, this assignment of profiles down the left axis and the record types going on the right axis. And you can create a matrix, a matrix of certain um, uh, pro permission, certain page layouts that you're gonna assign based on the profile and the record type. And in the previous years of Salesforce, this became our primary mechanism for driving different UIs based on different users and different record types. However, with the new dynamic lightning capabilities of Salesforce, this is not as necessary. 
And so we're gonna come back here and we're gonna see that page layouts, we can see the assignment is at the profile level. Moving forward, we have field level security where I can designate fields as visible, not visible and read only or not read only. So this is at the profile level. FLS, field level security. Let me continue. And we have custom app settings, which designate which apps are both visible or the default. Tabs, which tabs are the default, hidden or on. I can set record type settings and record types, you can see on this org, I just have this one. I can assign which particular record types are visible to this profile and which one's the default. There's a whole set of administrative per permissions driving top level capabilities. And there's another set of general user permissions. We now have our object level access. So we have the read, create, edit, delete, the view all and the modify all, and this is across the standard objects and this is across the custom objects. We have our platform event capabilities, which has read or create, the ability to um, subscribe to platform events is the read, and the ability to create a platform event, publish a platform event is, is the create. We're gonna get into these special session settings. I can set specific session, password policies, login hours, IP ranges, what classes, pages, Flows, can someone run, um, custom permissions, and the default experience. So I created a grid right here, and this is a grid comparison showing for the profiles, the, here are the particular settings, user licenses, page layouts, custom app, tab settings. And what I've done is gone through, and these are the ones at the profile level in this column. And then it stops down here, the default experience cloud site. So this matrix shows all these capabilities that are enabled at the profile level. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to a permission set level. We're gonna take a look there. So I can take any permission set and it has a slightly different screen, but I can view the, the assignments. I have a description, a license. Um, and now what I have is I have object settings. And if I come into here, it says object settings, but it really is objects, tabs, field level security, plus um, a number of capabilities. So what I'm gonna be looking at is in this grid, we're gonna see that object settings are enabled at the permission set, platform event settings are enabled at the permission set. And we come down here, we're gonna see object settings app settings, let's go to a different permission set. I think this is a generic permission set. We will actually create a new permission set called test. So this is a new test permission set not assigned to a specific license. So this permission set can be assigned across licenses. And now you're gonna see on this permission set, we can, settings, we can set up what apps they can see, what connected apps, what particular object settings, what app permissions, Apex class access, Visual Force class access, flow access, name credentials, external principal access, custom permissions, custom settings, all the way down to system permissions and service providers. So these are all capabilities that we can do at the permission set level. Now, as we move to this grid, we can start to see that there are some capabilities that only exist at the permission set level. So I've gone through and created the grid. Permission sets, the user license is optional. Section activation required. We have field level security, custom app settings. We have in the profile, we had visible and the default. Here we just have enabled, enabled, visible, assigned no default to record types. So I can assign specific record types. I can set object settings and platform event settings, but you'll notice these sessions, password, login hours, and IP ranges are kept exclusive to the profiles. All of the Apex actions and named credentials and app settings, they're all shared and custom permissions. But then there's new one, org wide email address access at the permission set system permissions service providers are now at the permission set level. 
So what's going to be happening is Salesforce is planning on deprecating or disabling a lot of the capabilities of the profile that are supported by the permission sets. The goal is to have the profile be very light and allow the access to users be built up through a series of permission sets and permission set groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this comparison and we're going to be able to see where this is going. So we're going to be able to see first page layouts are an older capability. And I think there may be, this is just possible, some end of life of those, but they're not going to be not, or let's say lower support for page layouts because of the new lightning layouts. We're going to see um, field level security will probably be pulled from the um, profile. We'll have custom app settings, maybe setting which ones are default, but the actual individual access may be pulled. Um, connected app access will need, probably go to the permission sets. Record type default, we just need to know which one's the default. Um, for the tab, default for the record type. And there are overall admin level and user level capabilities. These probably will stay. This is just hypothesis. And then we're going to see that object permissions and platform event permissions will probably go away. And we're going to have, however, the what will say is the session settings, password policy, login hours, login IPs. These will all probably migrate from visual force access to flows to name credentials. And what may stay right here is what's my default um, digital experience. So what you're seeing is something where I can have many of something will probably end up on the permission set. Something where I can only have one of something um, will probably be on the profile. So as you're doing your new construction, you wanna start migrating to this paradigm. Um, the power of the permission sets allows you to build uh, more of Lego building blocks and a series of uh, capabilities. And the profiles are driving towards the singular nature for what a singular value is for a particular user. So as we look at coming in the front door, coming in access, the profile will hold many of the key settings on session, on password policy. The permission sets will hold the more granular which connected apps might, this person might have capability to, this user capabilities. And then as we get into Salesforce, other than the defaults, the profiles will hold defaults. The permission sets will become the key um, factor for enabling specific access inside of Salesforce Core. So as you do your development and design, drive singular attributes, keep them on the profiles, but on the multiple elements, drive them to the permission sets. Try to make your profiles as light as possible in preparation. I've uh, seen references to Spring 26 when these capabilities on the profiles will become end of life. So start moving to your permission sets, keep your profiles for those single entry, point, single entry elements. Um, and I hope this is helpful in understanding. Let's keep pushing the profiles forward. Join me again for future videos, same bad time, same bad channel, and make sure you subscribe to Steve Techark and have a great day.